kind of like this singing thing, like wunderbare, um, which we don't do in German at all. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but have been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. As you guys probably know, Germany is a pretty Americanized country. Most people speak English in Germany, and we also consume a lot of American music, shows, and movies. So American celebrities are a part of our pop culture as well, if you will, and we're used to either hearing them speak English or they're dubbed by a German voice. But when an American celebrity actually suddenly speaks German, it's mind-blowing to us and really cool and there's a few clips on YouTube of English-speaking celebrities speaking German so I thought it would be cool to watch those together. There's actually some big names among them like Leonardo DiCaprio, Sandra Bullock, Kirsten Dunst, Johnny Depp, Robert De Niro, Keanu Reeves and many more and first up we have Donna Summer. So my laptop is down here I'm just gonna move over a little bit and I will watch it here and you'll see it on the screen. Ja, ist es schon manchmal äh, lustig, jedenfalls die, die, die Kleidung und wie ich mich bewegt habe und so weiter. In München habe ich schon in und Louis Vuitton München. Äh, hat mich äh, ein, ein paar Stiefel geschickt. Also ich, das war hier, wenn ich äh, so angekommen gestern. Ich habe viele, viele Leute kennengelernt, die jetzt meine deutsche Familie sind. Um, und äh, deswegen bin ich nach München gegangen, damit ich sie alle zusammenbringen können, dass wir mal Mahlzeit zusammen haben kann, weil ich in Deutschland bin. Okay, so I think it's funny. Um, I feel like this is the case with a lot of Americans or English speaking people speaking German. They don't always have this typical American or English accent, but like a Dutch accent. So she just sounded like she was from the Netherlands, um, which like she obviously isn't. She was born in Boston. But yeah, she just said that Louis Vuitton got her some boots and um, that she did some fun dance moves back in the day. And the background story here, because like obviously I had to look it up because her German is really good. Um, yeah, she just sounds like a Dutch person whose second language like from the childhood on was German. But yeah, so her background story is that she was born in Boston, but then she actually lived in Germany and also in Austria for a few years in the 60s and 70s. And she played in a lot of German musicals at the time. So like she sang German songs. And as she said, she lived in Munich too, which is my hometown. So that's really cool. Okay, um, next person up is Robert De Niro. Ich bedanke mich sehr für diese Ehre und guten, und guten, 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 guten Abend. Oh my God. Okay, this is so cute. Um, so he obviously doesn't actually speak German. Um, this must have been some award show in Germany, maybe like Goldene Kamera or Bambi or something. Um, and he obviously tried to remember some German sentences for his speech. Um, and in the end, he forgot how to say, have a nice evening. Um, so he said, Gutenberg <laughs> instead, which is just like, you know, a name. Yeah, and then like everyone tried to help him and screamed, Abend, Abend, and then he remembered because Guten Abend just means like, nice evening. So yeah, that was actually really adorable. Okay, next person is Justin Timberlake. Boys the toilet. So, an an apple Can ich habe eine apple shole, bitte? Okay, awesome. So he obviously doesn't really speak German either, but he knows the most important sentences, which according to him are "Wo ist die Toilette?" So where's the bathroom? Um, but like we say, where's the toilet in German? And what did he say? Eine apfelschorle, bitte. I think so. Um, what is Schorle again in English? I forget, but um, in Germany or like Europe, we like to drink juices with sparkling water. And then once we mix those two, we call it Schorle and Apfelschorle is like an apple Schorle. So apple juice mixed with sparkling water. So he knows how to order that, which is definitely very important. <laughs> okay, next one is Christopher Lee from England. Nein, nicht so gut. Wieso haben wir das Interview vorher auf Englisch geführt? Nein, ich kann nicht 
so gut Deutsch sprechen. Aber ich, Nein, ich, ich, habe nie, ich habe nie studiert. Ich habe nie gelernt. Woher sprechen Sie denn Deutsch? Da würde ich auch gerne wissen. Ich habe auf Deutsch gesungen und gedreht. Singen Sie uns was? Hören Sie Nein, was? das habe ich zweimal gemacht. Nein, nein, nicht mehr. Wie sehen die nächsten Projekte aus? Also, ein bisschen der Ring der Snibelungen vielleicht. <lacht> okay, um, so, this is hilarious, because basically they ask him if he speaks German, in German. This is um, like an Austrian TV channel interviewing him. And he just replies in pretty much fluent German that he doesn't speak German. And then they can, like keep asking, so wait, but you do? And he says, but I never learned it. And they were like, well, how do you speak German then? Why? And he just says, um, like in perfect German, he understands every single question. He has perfect grammar. And he just says that he sang in German before and he acted in German before. And I think then they asked him if he could sing something. And then he says no, but in the end he says, oh, maybe the Nibelungenlied. It's like a German classical song. Um, so yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's like German people saying, oh yeah, I don't speak English when they're actually almost fluent. That actually happens a lot with German people or I want to say like other Western European people. Um, okay, super cute though. Next one is Sandra Bullock. Ah, Mensch, bin ich nervös, weil da drüben auf dem Boden liegt meine Sprache. Okay, so this is at the German award show Bambi, which is like a media and TV award in Germany. Okay, um, in was für großartigen Zeiten wir leben, weil irgendwann war ich mal Kellnerin, dann war ich Putzfrau, dann war ich Diskotänzerin, dann war ich Hundefriseuse. Wer hätte gedacht, dass all diese Berufe mich eines Tages auf diese Bühne führen würden? Aber aber, aber das ist das beste Beweis dafür, weil dass das Publikum heutzutage so tolerant ist, dass sogar Leute wie ich eine Chance haben. Meine Mutter hat immer zu mir gesagt, sei originell, Sandra, und das hat mich als Kind total verrückt gemacht, aber Jetzt verstehe ich es, weil meine Mutter war ihre Zeit voraus. Und Gott sei Dank hat sie mir das Mentalität vermittelt, bevor sie selbst in andere Welten entschritten ist. Also danke, Dr. Burda, danke, meine Familie, danke, Caroline, Christina, Gabriela, Barbara, Maxi, geh jetzt ins Bett, Tante Christel, Onkel Heinz, danke, danke alle. Okay, so there's another clip, but so this first clip, um, just her speech, it's probably pretty obvious. She's fluent in German, um, even though she's an American actress, but I looked up the background story too. So she was born in the US, in Virginia, but she lived in Germany and partly in Austria for the first 12 years of her life. So she like went to school until what is that, sixth grade, maybe seventh grade. Um, so her mom was a German opera singer who she also mentions in the speech, um, but her mom passed away. So I think that's why she's tearing up almost. Um, and then her dad was an American who was in the military. So that's probably how her parents met. Um, and most of the time she lived in Nuremberg. And I actually read when I did some research that she says about herself that she has a Franconian, so like a Frankish accent. Um, but when I just listen to it, I don't really hear that. I, to me, it actually sounds more like Austrian or almost like a Swiss accent, actually. Because like in the beginning, she says like, in was für verrückte Zeiten, Zeiten leben wir. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even do it. But like, Swiss people have this um, interesting way of pronouncing the ending of certain words. Um, anyway, there is another clip with her where she teaches some German to Jimmy Kimmel. So let's watch that. I, but I, I speak German. You fully, fluently German? Pretty much. Really? Would you, you speak a little German? Because how, about I, how about I teach you how to say something? Oh yes, teach me how to say something in German. Oh. Um, say, ich bin. Ich bin. Ein. Ein. <laughs> oh, I know this one. No, you don't. Yeah, he oh. does. Okay. Ich bin ein Ich, ich bin ein <laughs> Loch. What was that? Loch. Loch. Like loch. Like a lake? Yes, yes. Like a lake. Ich bin ein Does that mean I'm an Is that what you mean? Yep, that's what it means. Okay, so YouTube is actually more chill about these things than I think 
national television in the US. So I can actually say it. I think it's pretty obvious, but she taught him how to say Ich bin ein Arschloch, which means I'm an asshole. Um, this is also what my friend Katie said in one of my past videos, my 100k subscriber special video. Um, she doesn't speak any German, but she said, yeah, I know the most important words, which are Scheiße and Arschloch. No, I know Scheiße. <laughs> Scheiße uh, and, and Arschloch. <laughs> Did you say that wrong now? Yeah, so Sandra Bullock taught him the most important words right there. It's hard to say, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say it again, but yeah, it's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have you. Okay, that was it. Yeah, so he just learned the most important things in German, obviously. So the next celebrity is going to be Keanu Reeves. But before I keep watching, I'd like to introduce today's sponsor, ExpressVPN, really quick. Many of you probably use a VPN client, especially those of you who like to consume videos and movies from other countries, like I do. I've actually used a VPN client ever since I moved to the US so that I could watch all the online content by German TV channels and some YouTube videos have geoblocking as well, which means that you can't access them when you're outside of that country. Now, these clips that I'm currently watching don't have that, but it happens all the time to me. And let me tell you, it can be really frustrating when you just want to watch this one video clip that your friend sent you and then you click on it and it says, this video is not available in your country. But you can avoid that with a VPN client because it allows you to browse the internet from a virtual location. I usually pick Germany, of course, which means that the website I visit will think that I'm in Germany and I can watch their content. And on top of that, your data also gets protected, which is important when you're logged into a public Wi-Fi, for example, like at a coffee shop or airport. And I've tried a few different VPNs in my life and ExpressVPN is actually the best one I've tried so far because it works really smoothly, there's no waiting time to get on the server, and it even works for Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime, which is not the case for all VPNs. I use it to access my favorite show How I Met Your Mother on Netflix, for example, since that one's not available on the American Netflix, but I also like to watch shows on the German TV channel Pro7, like Joko und Klaas. So if you want to try it too, find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box below. It's expressvpn.com slash And with that, let's see what Keanu Reeves has to say in German. Morgen, morgen, nur nicht heute, sagen alle faulen Leute. Okay, that was quick. Um, he says... Morgen, morgen, no nicht heute, sagen alle faulen Leute, which means tomorrow, tomorrow, just not today is what all lazy people say. Hey, that even rhymes in English too. That was like, that's probably not even the proper translation. I just did that, like, freestyle. <laughs> wow, um, that's funny. I wonder what the actual translation would be. But yeah, it's a saying in German and... Seems like he doesn't actually speak German either. Okay, now we have Leonardo DiCaprio. Meine Oma ist von einer kleinen Stadt, zwei Stunden weg von Düsseldorf. Spätzle, Spätzle mit der Wiener Schnitzel. Meine Mutter oder Mutti? Mutti, ja, meine Mutti ist ein sehr guter Mutti. Wow, okay, um, so Leonardo DiCaprio speaks pretty good German. I mean, doesn't seem like he's super fluent, but it sounds decent and he can say a few things. Um, he actually said that his grandma is from outside of Düsseldorf and then he said that um, his mom, his Mutti is the best Mutti in the world. And then he also talked about Spätzle with Wiener Schnitzel. So Spätzle, which like I've talked about Spätzle before. It's like these little, dumpling thingies. Um, they're not like pasta, but they kind of look like little pasta things. And he talks about Spätzle with Wiener Schnitzel, which like I totally approve of the Spätzle. Not so much of the Wiener Schnitzel as a vegetarian, but um, Wiener Schnitzel is Vienna Schnitzel, so you probably know what that is. Okay, so his backstory is that he's actually half German because as he said, his grandma is from outside of Düsseldorf, but actually his mom is too. So like his mom was born there as well. Um, so I'm assuming that his mom spoke German to him growing up, at least a little bit, um, but he never lived in Germany. So the family lived in the US the whole time and he was actually born in LA, but yeah. Pretty cool that 
such a big celebrity is half German. And the next person is one of my favorites because I love the show Scrubs and How I Met Your Mother and she plays in both of them. Um, and it's Sarah Chalk. And the first clip that I have is actually a snippet from the show Scrubs. You speak German, I have a patient from Berlin and I need to tell the gentleman that he has fluid in his lungs. Berlin. Ihre Frau hat einen schönen Busen. Ihre Frau hat einen schönen Busen. Schönen Busen. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's pretty clear what happened here. She gave him a wrong sentence to repeat in German and um, she does have an accent, but still like really, really good. The funny thing in those shows is, and I've like, seen that in several shows but definitely in scrubs several times is that the person who plays the german character isn't german at all and you can hear that like if you're german and you listen to that he has a pretty strong accent when speaking german so i don't understand why they can't just find someone german to play that and like say those two sentences doesn't seem like a huge role you know um should be possible to maybe find a native german speaker for that but yeah, they have like another um, episode where they have two people from Germany and actually the song 99 Luftballons plays a role in that episode too. Um, and those two German characters in that episode have a pretty big role and they speak kind of a lot of German and it sounds like, like a Danish person or again like a Dutch person speaking German, like definitely not German native speakers, so I don't really understand why but yeah sarah chuck's german is definitely very good but technically she's canadian she grew up in vancouver in canada and um her mom is from germany from rostock and there's another um like there's actually lots of scenes with her speaking german on youtube but i picked another one um where she speaks german in a talk show with conan o'brien so let's check it out is this true you, you, you're trilingual you speak english obviously you speak french and you speak german yeah, Canadians have it so were, good. Uh, crazy. I thought it was a good idea if my sisters and I went to school all day with all of our classes in French and then went to German school after school. So you, learn, you would speak French all day yeah. and, then, uh, and then learn German afterwards? Yeah, my, uh, my mom's family It's actually pretty cool. And so we would speak German with my grandmother and she lived like three doors away actually so we'd always go over there for um, hot chocolate soup with whipping cream for breakfast. What is hot chocolate? Is hot chocolate soup just hot chocolate? <laughs> okay, I just want to say that is not a very typical German breakfast. Um, not all German food is healthy, I'm not trying to say that, but we don't eat German chocolate soup. What did she say? Hot chocolate soup? With whipped cream <laughs> for breakfast every day. Maybe that's like an old-fashioned thing or maybe that's like a regional thing because um, yeah, her mom is from the north of Germany, so I don't know, let me know. Have you ever heard of that before? I just want you guys to know that that's not like a typical thing that we do in Germany. But let's keep watching. Chocolate or is it like a thin soup of chocolate? It's like... Heiße Schokolade mit Schlagsahne zum Frühstück? Oh my god! <laughs> that's what she also it's does like, on Scrubs. I mean, it's too. like a nice chocolate soup. Like, why does it sound like that? Like, yeah, why does everything... everything in German sound so angry? <laughs> angry that's so, what is hot? Say hot chocolate. It sounds so sweet. Would you like some hot chocolate soup? But say it again. Heiße Schokolade mit Schlagsahne! <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually scared of that too. That's right. That's right. And like, is, and is that not... with whipping cream or is with whipped cream? <laughs> <laughs> I surrender. Yeah. It's not a romance language. No. Like, if I want to give you a compliment, what would you? How I would you say like, "Ich liebe deine große wunderbare Welle mit einer großen roten Haaren Kunnen." What was that? I really like the beautiful, sexy wave in your big red hair. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I didn't actually understand the very last word she said, like, in, off the German part. But it's so funny how, like, of course he totally exaggerates. I think that's pretty obvious even to, like, all Americans watching this and English speakers, non-German speakers watching this. Um, like, she totally exaggerates, she totally screams, obviously. You've definitely heard me speak German before. We don't always scream when we speak. Um, and English sounds pretty scary too when people scream it. Um, but yeah, so she just like plays with it, which is cool. And she does that in Scrubs too. Like every time they make her speak German in the show, they make her scream something and say it very aggressively. Um, 
But this, I think it's so funny how she gave him this compliment about his hair. I'm sure she like knows better because she actually speaks German, but she uses this interesting sentence melody, um, kind of like this singing thing, like wunderbare, um, which we don't do in German at all. Um, I feel like this is only people who imitate German who do that. Um, so I feel like she's just probably doing that on purpose because like she must know better speaking German and growing up with a German family. Um, but yeah, it's still funny though. I just still don't really understand what her last word was. Like, Haaren, Kronen, Haaren, Kronen? Even if it was Kronen, it doesn't really fully make sense. Like, your hair crown? I don't know. Well, I like that better. <laughs> yeah, and then of course, like, the English translation that she did was like, with this really nice voice and super lovely. I mean, that's like the actual difference, obviously. But I like this. This was nice. <laughs> like, that helped me a little bit. I thought maybe that's about my hair or a roller coaster. Rolling coaster heightens Wow. It's so funny when people who don't speak German try to imitate German and they just like say these random syllables and it doesn't really sound German to me at all. Like, what did he say? Hakenzucken, Ruckenzucken? Um, doesn't sound that German to me. <laughs> but yeah. Right. So if we were in German whispering sweet nothings to each other, it would be both of us. Just like, I love you. And that's, what, that's actually what it sounds like. Like, I love you. <laughs> yeah, except you don't scream it. Yeah. Wow, that is very intense. Yeah. Very intense. <laughs> Do you get to break out your German very often? Do you get to use it in everyday life, or is it pretty rare? It's very rare. Um, Actually, on Scrubs, we use it all the time now because the writers, anytime we're yeah. looking for like a what I said. button on a scene, they'll just have me scream at someone in German. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it's still super funny, but obviously, like, this was full of stereotypes and cliches. Okay, next up is Johnny Depp. My father is a steerkämpfer. Yeah. Wow. He's so I'm a Wasser Your Deutsch is fantastic. Doesn't really make sense, but it's really good. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> absurd, yeah, no, I have a I have a penchant for absurdities and irreverence. <laughs> I just said that my father was a bullfighter yeah. and that I am a watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I don't have to translate. That's cool. All right, next one is Kim Cattrall, who um, many of you might know from Sex and the City. She plays Samantha. <laughs> Okay, so she started in German and then she switched to English. Um, so she actually explained it herself. She was married to a German and lived in Germany for many years. Um, that's actually really cool. And then she did this thing that so many people who speak German as a second language do. She like apologized for forgetting all of her German and apologized for her German not being very good, which like it totally was good. <laughs> like no need to apologize. Um, honestly, never apologize for poor language skills, unless they're like really, really, really bad. But I think like as long as it's good enough to communicate, don't apologize. Um, okay, who's next? Chris Pratt, okay. Yeah, I can uh, a bit of Deutsch speaking. I have a in school again. And, uh, he sounds so yeah, American. I speak uh, a bit of Deutsch. And you can super dance. Da, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Kannst du mir einen Move zeigen, Dank der alle Frauen äh, durchdrehen lässt? Ah, du musst ja uh, Guardians of the Galaxy sehen. Und, uh, Hab ich. Schon dreimal. Ja, yeah, dreimal. Good advertisement. Um, okay, this looks like it was at the Oscars, because um, this German TV host always does the red carpet reports from the Oscars for the German TV channel. Um, yeah, like, this sounded so typical American. Like, this was the typical accent, and um, he just said that he learned German in school. So for that, honestly, it was really good. But he didn't really say a lot. He just repeated twice, I think, that he speaks a little bit of German and that he learned it at school. And then um, I think the host said um, that he is good at dancing. <laughs> he says, yeah, yeah, with this like really over the top German accent. Um, and then the host asked him to like do a dance moves that will make the women go crazy. And then he just goes and says, oh, you'll have to watch Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so, and then the host says, I've already watched it three times. Not a deep conversation here, but pretty good German skills, actually. Okay, Mark Strong. 
Mein Deutsch ist nicht mehr so gut wie früher, aber ich werde es versuchen. Auf der Schule hab, äh, wächst man auf mit äh, Conan Doyle und Sherlock Holmes. Ich habe Spaß gehabt und die, die Leute sind alle sehr nett und sie wissen jetzt überhaupt nicht, was ich sage. Also kann ich sagen, was ich will, aber ähm, ja, das wär's. Das wär's. That's it. Um, his German is perfect. Like, he has zero accent. If you didn't know that he was not born in Germany, you would totally think he was... 100% German and was living in Germany his whole life. He sounds perfect. There's not a single thing where I would notice that he's not a native German speaker. But I did look up his backstory. So his dad is Italian, his mom is Austrian, so that's the German influence. But he was actually born in London and his parents actually changed his legal name, which was an Italian name at first, to Mark Strong. So they just like picked that name, which like, pretty good name to pick um, because they thought it would make his life easier in England so I don't know if that's like actually true but it's definitely a good um, name for an actor so yeah super impressive right here because as far as I um, found out during my research he never actually lived in Germany and for that speaking German with zero accent is really impressive actually um, okay and now the last celebrity on my list is Kristen Dunst do you, how much do you know the culture there? Now you have a German passport. Mm, I like do you culture hang talk. out there? Do you speak German? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of speaking Deutsch. I asked you a question. Do you speak German? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of that's German, mumbo I said. Jumbo, isn't I said it? a little bit of that was, German. That was, that's what you said, a little bit yeah. of German? Yeah. Do you know, uh, like, what, what phrases do you know? Well, I know good curse word phrases. Oh, really? Yeah. Always. Can we always teach them the curse words. Yeah. Uh, uh, du bist ein Scheißkopf. Okay. I think I know it. What is yeah. that? Hey, they didn't censor it this time. You that's, can, that's shithead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sounds really cute, though. Yeah. Like that's I don't think Andy. I would I would use that word if I were actually mad at someone. I think I would use it in like a more funny way. Yeah. <laughs> what, sorry. What, what's you know, another? I know yeah, that, 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 that kind of yeah, German. Yeah. What's, what's another? That kind of German. Um, du bist ein großes uh, großer Arschloch. Okay, we I'm learned that one before from Sandra Bullock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a big ass. Wait, is that, oh, stop, okay, Sorry. we get it. <laughs> Anyone just tuning in right now just thinks yeah, I really like... pissed you off. My mother's gonna call me, why was she so mad at you? <laughs> Do you find that you can use those words over there? So what she just said, um, let's go back for a bit. She said, um, Du bist ein grosses, uh, grosser Arschloch. Du bist ein großer Arschloch. She actually said großes at first and then corrected herself. Großes would have been correct. So like, it's pretty obvious that her German is pretty good, but she's definitely not fluent because otherwise she would have like gotten this correctly. Okay, let's jump back in here. My mother's gonna call me, why was she so mad at you? Do you find that you can use those words over there? Uh, my friends have fun using them, but yeah. Right. Yeah, I, mean, I know that feeling. All of my American friends always want to know the curse words too. Together, and we went to this place called uh, Miniature Wonderland, which is like a miniature city. Mm -hmm. And it's all... Yeah, like Miniature Wonderland. Mm -hmm. And it's all, you know, oh, it's so great, and there's Las Vegas, and there's Switzerland, and then in the bushes there's people having sex. It's so weird. Wait, wait, wait. They're, they're like sprinkled, I don't understand what you're boning, saying. like weird sprinklings of... of Are sex. tourists having... Oh, no, uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the miniatures. Oh, the, mini oh, the little miniature <laughs> yeah, figures. The oh, I thought you went what? to a theme park and in the bushes everyone's having sex. <laughs> Like, Could man, happen. the Germans win again. <laughs> they all kind again. of actually look a little Disney-like. The whole Black Force went to the But um, honestly, like, even the miniature figures having sex seems like something that would never happen in the US, so that's still interesting. So we went to this castle called Neuschweinstein. We're Neu a lot Neuschweinstein is what the castle is called. It's actually the most popular and famous castle that we have in Germany. It's in Bavaria. It's pretty close to Munich. Like, I want to say an hour or two by car. Um, I've only ever been there with people visiting Germany. Like, I've only been there as, like, a tourist guide and never just by myself. Because it's, like, such a tourist destination. It's not that much fun to go there. There's a really amazing view of it, but, like, the actual tour is usually pretty stressful. There's so many tourists. Um, but Neuschwanstein... Um, from what I hear is actually in a lot of American history books. So I've heard that like a lot of American students know that castle because it's in the history books and also the Disney castle is based on this. So 
Yeah, that's Neus Schwanstein. A lot of the, well, where a lot of the Wagner music was written, he wrote there, and, and actually, I actually that's didn't like know that our one. main theme throughout Melancholia. Okay, it's great what you can learn in those interviews. Like now, you guys know the most important words in German. Um, yeah, so Kristen Dunst, I looked it up. Of course, um, she speaks German because her dad is actually German. Her grandpa still lives in Hamburg, Germany, to the state, but she never actually lived there. So I could actually tell because she sounded pretty native-like, but she made that little grammar mistake there. So like a native German speaker who grew up in Germany wouldn't say it like that. Yeah, and that was the last celebrity I had on my list for today. I personally really love watching these clips. I don't know about you, I hope this was fun for you guys too. Um, but as a German, this is really, really cool to watch this. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and which one totally surprised you maybe. Because like, I think if I hadn't heard Sandra Bullock speak German before, I would have totally been mind blown, but I think I had heard that before, that speech. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and follow me on social media if you're interested in more behind the scenes content. And in case you'd like to support me even more, check out my Patreon page and buymeacoffee.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your support and I hope I'll see you next time. Cheers!